Okay, just okay, keep here, twisting. Okay, here, we got keep it. Keep Reporting live from the basement of 52 during Canadian Thanksgiving, it's live from last week episode 94. Let's go! Welcome here, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning, after picking up the wife after her night shift from downtown, I decided to break out my golf clubs for the first time in one full year and visit my local club here at Harmony Creek Golf Club with the one and only Ed Duave. Justin! Cheers, Duave. Thanks for coming out with me for October 5th Paris Island Tournament of Champions in golf. <laughs> so after golfing with Duave today, I'm dropping him off at his place at Scarborough and he told me that he has a surprise for me. Bam! Yo, check it out. An authentic, flip authentic flip side apparel yeah. shirt, which we'll check out later on. Yo, so how'd you like our outing today, bro? Oh, man, it was so much fun. Most fun I had in a long time. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming out, man. <laughs> thanks, Jay, for having me. Yo, Jay Walker POV, this is the one. <laughs> and after parting ways with Duave, finding my way back home to catch up on some sleep, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out, going out to a former Wysik friend of mine. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Eric. Happy birthday, Eric. And we've also got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ali. Happy birthday, Ali. I'm hoping that my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today I'm at Liberty Village, taking my motorcycle, my baby Rouge out, on a beautiful autumn morning. But another reason why I'm here this morning is because once again, the Facebook Marketplace bug has hit me. So I took the 45 minute ride across downtown Toronto to check out this beautiful, lately used Waldo costume. And well guys, let me know just how it looks. When you're thinking, where's Waldo? I'm saying, boom, there's Waldo. P.S. A quick big shout out to Adriano who sold me this costume. But anyways, riding around this area for the first time since last year, remembering that I got Burger King just down the street from here at that time, I'm looking around at the present day, noticing that that Burger King location has been replaced. As well as this new condo that's being built just across the street where the McDonald's used to be located. Which also reminded me going back to yesterday, when visiting 52 while picking up a Duave, the big old tree in front of the house has now been chopped down. And one more thing about yesterday's event that I forgot was that when Eduave and I were taking a break from golfing, eating chicken wings for lunch, we were thinking we were going to go back to the driving range after eating. So we left our bucket of driving range balls in the back of the mini. But yesterday evening, while in Scarborough, when I opened up the trunk, I noticed that back there we forgot that big 
bucket of golf balls. So I'm hoping that next week we'll return to Harmony Creek, send our apologies for temporarily borrowing their golf balls and bucket, and use up the rest of those balls back at the driving range. Anyways, now that I got my Waldo costume, it's time to go back to Scarborough before the wife actually finds out where I am, and later tonight, go in for my first of my scheduled three night shifts. This morning, post night shift, instead of eating breakfast, I fed my baby Rouge a buffet for the first time since August. But only after hearing that the gas prices had jumped overnight. Also, while I was at the gas station, since I didn't win with my Lotto Max ticket last week, I bought a lotto ticket for this Friday, seeing that the Lotto Max winnings still hasn't been won for the past couple of weeks. And another thing that's exciting for Friday, aka tomorrow, is that the Blue Jays start their 2022 MLB postseason playoffs. So I'm hoping that we'll get through tonight's second night shift in the span of three nights and be able to watch the Blue Jays game tomorrow afternoon after I take my post night shift nap. So today is a day that I've been waiting for all season. With the Blue Jays starting their 2022 postseason run in the AL wildcard series versus the Mariners. In which throwing the ceremonial first pitch was former Blue Jay All-Star Edwin Encarnacion. And I don't know if you guys can tell by how much sleep I had after my night shift last night. In between shifts on TV, we are catching the Blue Jays game. But as a pregame meal, we went to a local establishment that we've been to in a previous Live From Last Week episode to get some barbecue smoked pork dinner at the classic Art of Barbecue. And after not having this dish in several months, for lunch we chowed down on this delicious southern food. But before we catch the rest of the Blue Jays game, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my childhood friends with whom I played soccer with and refed a couple of games with him in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Matt. Happy birthday, Matt. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends who is a big Green Bay Packers fan and also a Blue Jays fan as well. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, stay safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And so now, before I go in for my third of my three night shifts, it's time to head back to the living room and catch the rest of this Blue Jays playoff game before I go into work. So, after a set of three crazy busy night shifts, and getting probably about six hours of total sleep in the past 48 hours, and also thinking about the fact that the Blue Jays dropped game one of their wildcard series. Post night shift this morning, I was just tossing and turning, tossing and turning, and doing even more tossing and turning, being pretty excited not getting any sleep at all, mainly because this afternoon is a do or die game for the Blue Jays, where they have a must win game in order to keep their season alive, with the wife and I having tickets to go to the Jays game tonight. But first, before waking up the wife to go catch a Jays game in between her night shifts, I'm about to pick up some pizza at a local establishment that we haven't been to in quite a while, right here at Little Caesars to get the wife some food in between her shifts. And now that we're downtown, before we go into the Blue Jays game, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my Mother Teresa friends, a childhood friend from back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Laviolet. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. All right, so now the moment that we've all been waiting for, time to go into the stadium to watch game two of the Blue Jays versus Mariners Wild Card Series.
game was just heartbreaking. With the Jays up 8-1 in late innings, in one of the biggest blow-ups in franchise history, eventually losing 10-9. So disappointed, man. So disappointed. So let me tell you about the dilemma that I had yesterday where I had to possibly choose between having Thanksgiving lunch with the Saga family and the third game of the AL wildcard series between the Blue Jays and the Mariners for which I already spent a couple of hundreds of dollars on which were both scheduled at the same time. And remembering when Vladimir Guerrero said that last year was the trailer and this year we had to get ready for the movie? Well, unfortunately for us, this movie had a sick M. Night Shyamalan type of twist with last night the Blue Jays collapsing after having an 8-1 to lead in a must-win game and are now eliminated from the playoffs. Which for me meant that there's no game 3 today and that I could finally focus on going to that Thanksgiving lunch. So after taking in this devastating loss of my beloved Blue Jays, while watching the Seattle Mariners celebrate with their fans after the game last night, as well as me shutting down the Rogers Center to the place that I called home over the past couple of several summer months and saying farewell to all these configurations in the ballpark before they renovate this whole area in the off season I got on the GO train after seeing in the first time in a long while that there were fair inspectors on board before finally taking my post night shift sleep when I got home. Then I woke up to do an early Sunday morning Uber drive for the wife, picking her up after her night shift with a drive by of the Rogers Center where I witnessed a devastating heartbreak of the Jays just 12 hours prior. But anyways, we did an early morning run to the grocery store to get some Thanksgiving groceries before passing out for a quick morning nap at the Saga household and having this amazing feast for lunch with the Saga family. Cheers! Happy Thanksgiving, Happy guys! Thanksgiving. Woo! Hey. All right, Thanksgiving. cheese, one, two. everybody's in. One! Wait, yeah. not we gotta get one in there. All right, we have everybody in. One, right. two, three, cheese. cheese. Ready? Go ahead. I'm joking, Tita. That was a joke. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Mm. Oh, what is that? Mimosas? We just poured a bunch. Just in case you guys wanted them. And quickly, before moving on, we have a birthday greeting to my cousin-in-law, of whom I attended a wedding in Jamaica a couple years back. This birthday shout-out goes out to you, Vida! Happy birthday, Vida! Also, on the topic of good vibes, guess who this morning hit a big milestone in their Duolingo language practice, hitting a 2000 day Duolingo streak. But yeah, now I'm headed back downtown to drop off the wife for her third night shift in a row before heading back to Scarborough to 52 to have a Thanksgiving dinner with the cousins. Yo, Faye is making me a Starbucks drink. Check this out. <laughs> Um, J, J, it's water. It's pronounced hey. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. It's Thanksgiving. Oh, tastes fresh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, good boy. Mm. Good boy. Smell. Good boy. Lick. There you go. All right. Good job. Good job. Turn around. Sit. Yeah, I don't know. Hi, bye. Oh. Bye, Dad. Good boy. Up. Up. Okay, sit. Smell first. Lick. Lick. Good boy. That's cool. Oh, no. oh, he's ready. First of all, to all my Canadians out there, I want to wish all a happy Thanksgiving. And not remembering that today is a holiday, I made my way downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift, getting here in record time, not realizing that there is no traffic on the roads. Anyways, last night after making a quick pit stop for Sunday Night Mass at Our Lady of Lords, 
I'm recalling the newly renovated areas at 52. I was walking in the hallways and realized that there is just no doorway at this location anymore. We also celebrated Faye and Duave's fifth year wedding anniversary by popping this bottle of baby duck. Oh. Here, Here you go, Faye. Whoa, what is this? Happy anniversary, Ray. Ah. Where is, by the way, Ray? <laughs> It's okay. Woo! 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 Baby duck, slushy, 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 baby duck, slushy, 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 baby duck. Give me your cup, 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 cup. Give me your cup, 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 cup. Give me your cup, 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 cup. Give me your cup. Come on. Oh, come on, hurry up! Slushy, slushy, baby duck, slushy. Hurry. You gotta hurry up, 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 hurry up, 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 hurry up, 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 hurry up. Up, 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 hurry up. Oh, it's stuck, 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 stuck. Oh, it's stuck, 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 stuck. Oh, it's stuck, 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 baby duck. Yo, premium. Starbucks, baby duck. Starbucks, duck, 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 duck. Cheers, Faye. Cheers, Faye. Happy anniversary to us. Happy anniversary. Five year Jamaica. Cheers. Five year, cheers. Whoa, slushy. 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 I like it. And speaking of celebrations, I just have a quick birthday greeting for you guys today. But first, let me take off my hoodie. And for this birthday shout out, in honor of the t-shirt that I'm wearing, I have a birthday greeting to my Tita up in heaven. Tita Olav. Happy birthday, Tita Olav. I'm hoping that up there, you're praying for us, looking over us, and that you had a great birthday this year. But anyways, guys, after I pick up the wife from her night shift today, I just have a random Thanksgiving night shift for myself tonight. Gotta edit some live from last week footage and wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.